Today, today is such a special day, and um, we are so happy for the way God has led in their lives. And they've requested um, for Christy Delinsky to sing a special song at this time um, to, to commemorate their baptism. One of the reasons that, that it's um, special for Christy to be here is because Carl has been a movie buff, and he's kind of followed Christy and, and seen her. And he has been touched by Christy's commitment to Jesus and what God's done in her life. And so that, that's one of the reasons they asked Christy to sing for their special day.
I was born in Chicago and raised Catholic, but even as a youngster, it didn't feel quite right. The practices and beliefs left me with more questions than answers. And as I got older, my belief in God got stronger, but my belief in Catholicism did not. It was somewhere in my teens that I stopped going to church altogether, feeling that my faith in God was enough. Over the years, I tried to fit in with other religions and beliefs, but it still didn't feel right. I tried Baptist, Pentecostal, other Catholic churches, and even attended a Calvary church. None of these let me feel at home or really any closer to God. I met my wife, Laura, seven years after being divorced from my first wife. Laura was born and raised to Seventh-day Adventist, getting to know her and talking to her. I felt like I might be on the right track. Especially when we witnessed God's miracles and help more than once since we've been together. Upon moving to Simi Valley, Laura found the Simi Valley Seventh-day Adventist Church online. She contacted Pastor Jen and then Dave Vago via email and Facebook. We encouraged by both of them to attend, so we decided to visit, hoping to be accepted and find a church home. When we walked through the doors of this church and began meeting everyone, we knew we had found our church family. We knew we were home, and we haven't looked back since. Amen. This is my Bible verse. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths get tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who wait and hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Isaiah 40, 28 to 31. Amen. And here's Laura's testimony. Laura was baptized in 1973 at the age of 10 years old in the Eagle Rock Seventh-day Adventist Church. She was a fifth generation in her family to be baptized as Seventh-day Adventist. After Laura's mother suffered for many years in witnessing to her father and striving to keep both Laura and her sister Bobby in the Seventh-day Adventist educational system, her father was baptized. Laura believes God moved in his heart in order to help strengthen their faith in God at a critical time in her life. Laura watched her father transform into a kind, loving, and gentle person because of God. It was when Laura was around 20 that her parents divorced and her father went away. Laura went to several Seventh-day Adventist schools as they moved often. But she recalls a brief period of time where she met a young teacher at Glendale Adventist Academy by the name of Jan Zog. And for those of you who can't connect the dots, that was Pastor Jan. In her first year out of college when she taught at Glendale Adventist Academy. Little did they know that God had plans for both of them to meet again in the future in a baptistry. Laura remembers loving the Lord always, from learning skills in the Eagle Rock Pathfinders to singing in Glendale Adventist Academy's choir under Calvin Nipschild, and from helping her grandmother witness to others and in gathering door to door while caroling at Christmas time. A series of events happened to Laura that shook her faith, but she always knew God was with her and her three children. She had been out of the church for a few years when she decided to search for a church family that would help her continue to grow and understand the things she needed to learn about the Lord. But it was not until Laura moved to Simi Valley at the request of her husband Carl that Laura felt it was time to ask her husband to make good on his promise to attend a Seventh-day Adventist church with her. The first day they stepped into the Simi Valley Seventh-day Adventist church, both of them felt they were home again. Amen. They immediately asked, to be baptized. Through Bible study with Pastor Jan, Laura and Carl have learned so much more about the love of God. They want to pass it on. Carl and Laura married October 10, 2010. 
And in their wedding party was uh, their three, Laura's three children and one grandson, plus Carl's four children and two of his grandchildren. Since then, their family has grown with two more grandchildren. Some of their children are here today, and some are watching online. Laura is, uh, sorry, I'm having a tough time without my glasses. Anyway, Laura is studying educational psychology at CSUN. She accredits her ability to return back to a school 30 years later to the fact that she had a wonderful Christian education. Laura wants to help other children have that same opportunity. Laura's favorite Bible verse is found in the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verses 1 through 3. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. Amen. We liken baptism to a marriage. So here, here are your vows. Do you, Carl and Laura, acknowledge the existence of God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? Recognizing that your salvation comes only by accepting the grace of Christ's atoning sacrifice and his righteous life. Yes. Because of what he has done for you, do you so choose to forsake the world and follow Jesus, recognizing that he is your friend and intercessor in the heavenly sanctuary, and that he alone can provide you the strength to live the Christian life and pick you up when you fall? Yes. Do you believe in the inspiration of God's Word and desire to regularly study and share its truths with others through your personal effort and influence? Yes. Because of your love for Jesus, do you choose to obey His law, not as a means of salvation, but because of salvation, including the celebration of the seventh-day Sabbath as a special time of communion with your Creator and Redeemer, Jesus Christ and his followers. Yes. Do you choose to prepare for the soon coming of Christ, ordering your life in harmony with the principles of Christian living? Yes. Do you desire to follow Jesus, being baptized by immersion as a public expression of faith in him and his forgiveness of your sins? Do you, Carl and Laura, accept God's last day prophetic movement and desire to become a member of this local congregation of the Worldwide Seventh-day Adventist Church. Yes. Because of your desire to follow Jesus with all of your heart, we now baptize you in the name of the Father, Father and in the name, name of the Son, Son and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. your desire to, to speak to either Pastor Phil or myself, and we can begin um, preparing you for this special service. May God bless each of you. Thank you for being here. This time we would like to invite the Joneses to join us again up here. As we have the laying on of hand service, we'd like to invite the elders and any ordained ministers with us today to participate in this special prayer of anointing on Carl and Laura. So uh, please come forward, all of the elders 
and any ordained ministers to join right now as we have this prayer of anointing upon uh, Carl and Laura. The New Testament uh, presents uh, examples where after the baptism of individuals, there was a laying on of hands where uh, the gifting of the Holy Spirit was prayed for. And uh, we heard in your testimonies that you're wanting to be active in the body of Christ and that you're wanting to be his servants and used by him in his cause. And we're asking and praying that God is going to anoint you with his Holy Spirit power right now in service for him. We don't know what it is, but God knows how he wants to gift you to serve this church family and the community that he has placed you in. So at this time, we're just going to ask God's blessing upon you as we lay hands on you in prayer. Heavenly Father, you witnessed their immersion in the watery grave of baptism. And now, Lord, we are asking that you would immerse them in the power of your Holy Spirit, that you would pour out your Spirit in a mighty way, that you would gift them, that you would give them gifts as you have promised in the New Testament, that you would gift them in service for you. That's what they want. But they want to work where you want them to work. They want to do what you want them to do. We pray that you would lead and guide in their lives in powerful ways, that they would be an active part of the body of Christ, that they would help us fulfill our mission to enlarge your circle of friends in this community. Well, may your blessing be upon them in a powerful way. I know the devil is going to do everything he can to discourage them, but we pray that you would bless them, that we as a church family would surround them, that we would be here during uh, the good times and the bad times for them, and that together we will grow this body of believers so that others can be prepared to spend eternity with you. So we ask your blessing upon them to this end. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. And so now we want to officially welcome you in to the Simi Valley Seventh-day Adventist Church. We have certificates. Joel, if you would present them those certificates uh, of uh, baptism and uh, that commemorates this special day uh, for both of you. And then we uh, are asking that... Uh, uh, right now that the church family officially welcome them into membership. Ah, oh, we're having a problem here. These actually, these little tassels go right in the middle there, okay? So let's welcome them into the body of believers here in uh, Simi Valley today. What is your pleasure that they become a part of the Simi Valley Seventh-day Adventist Church family? Okay, and a second. All in favor say amen. 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 God bless you and welcome to the family. <laughs> 